Hello guys, good day. Today I'm going to talk about driver's license. So um, today I went to land transportation office here in our area to get a non-proof license. So from student permit license, which means which it didn't help you know at all in terms of driving because you can't drive by yourself in any kind of vehicle when you have SP or student permit. And if you only have um, student permit license, you should be accompanied with you know a person who has non-proof or professional license. So it feels like a kid accompanied by, you know, a guardian. So I went there around 9 a.m. today, and when I got there, there's quite people outside the office. Um, they're kind of people you know, offering assistance in getting a driver's license in easy way. You know what I mean. <laughs> One guy offered me, but I declined. But it doesn't mean I don't want to. But of course, you know, I want to get license in, in a quick, easy way or in a quick way. But the charges is, qu is quite unreasonable. It's, it's, un it's unreasonable for a fact that it's expensive compared to the regular amount that, you know, will be charged um, to you inside the office. So um, I said, I said to the person, so I said, um, no kuya, I'll be fine. So I went inside. Um, there's not much people inside um, compared to the last time I went there. I took an application form, filled it out, submitted it, and in a couple of minutes my name was called for picture and a payment. So I paid 600, I mean 160 pesos, um, 160 plus, I forgot the exact amount. Then the teller or officer told me to get inside the room at counter number one for review and examination. It feels like the process was, you know, going smoothly. I said to my mind, this is not, you know, so hard, but I was already nervous reading it because I failed the first time I took the, you know, uh, the exam for non-proof. So I, I don't want to, um, hap I don't want it to happen again. So I read the reviewer carefully and and when I finally thought I was ready to take the exam, I told the, the personnel in charge, Sir, um, I'm ready or I'll take the exam. So I went inside the room and it feels like the first time I sat down with you know, a couple of people who will take the exam as well. Then my name was called, then the lady gave me a questionnaire consists of 40 items. For non-proof professional license, the passing score would be 30 out of you know, 40. So, and then the professional license, 45 out of 60 items. Frankly speaking, while taking the, the exam, I was, you know, um, I was nervous, but I didn't find most of the questions really hard to understand. There are some tricky questions, though, but in myself, I know I answered it correctly, hmm, I guess. So when I'm finally done answering it, I took the paper to the, uh, I took the paper and then gave it to the personnel with, you know, so much, I was so nervous. And, uh, you know, it's like the same feeling when you get interviewed for a job. <laughs> so um, years ago, uh, the, they processed the, that time, the paper, when you're done with the exam, after you're done with the exam, you'll wait outside, then they'll review the paper and check the papers and there you will be called whether um, you pass or not but now they have this sort of machi machine that will read the paper um, that um, has your answers and right there um, you'll know um, the uh, you know the score whether you pass or not so while I was on the line to the personnel who will check the papers We'll take our papers. There's this. There's this one lady. Suddenly appeared out, out of nowhere. Inserted herself on the line, in front of me. But I didn't, you know, react. I let her, I let her um, get inserted, because I was already nervous that time and anxious about my, about the result. So when it was my, it was finally my turn. I was, you know, 
I, I was nervous and I gave the paper and she inserted it inside the machine then boom I failed <gasps> the score was so embarrassing and you know there are some people who saw the the, the score but um, I've noticed you know when, when she pointed out the the score because it, it suddenly moved to the next page I didn't see that much it, it's, it was really um, 26 and I can't believe um, that I had that score and I felt like I scored more than that I was told and I was told by the personnel to come back after a month to take the the exam again you know but um, I've noticed I've noticed something you know there's the, the, the some uh, there's this lady I told you who inserted herself in the middle of the line she um, took the um, professional licensure uh, professional uh, driver's license examinations and so she was sort of assisted by one of the personal inside the office and I'm not sure um, the guy's relationship to her I even heard him I even heard the guy telling the lady the answer <laughs> So, as I said um, earlier, the passing score for professional license would be like 45 out of um, 60. You know, her score was only 40, 43. I heard it. Then, you know, I was sh a bit shocked because the, the lady person, the, the personnel, told her that she passed the score and she was told to wait outside at some counter. Hmm. And it was like, there's some really, you know, you know fishy going going on in there so um i've heard i've heard a lot of rumors regarding you know you know some fishy things inside, inside that office but that time i would you know i i uh you know uh i heard it personally um i uh what they call this i I oh, what do you call this? I witnessed it personally, so I uh, was so disappointed. I was so disappointed in myself, and I was like, I feel so dumb, you know, because this is already the second time um, I took the exam for non-professional license, and I really don't know um, if you know. I answered it correctly, you know, to tell to tell you guys, but. I feels like it feels like I need to like I don't know it, it, no I took the the examination um, you know with full information because I read it carefully and I think this is it's, it's really hard but I guess I uh, the next time I'll take the exam this November because they told me to come back after a month um, I guess I have to you know um, Maybe pay those guys. I have no choice. School can cool. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> Though um, I paid not that much, but still the the effort, you know, the expectations as well. <sighs> but I have no choice. I I I got failed already. So. Um, maybe the next time I have to, you know, maybe pay, I guess. So, um, it's because I'm mad right now. I'm so mad right now. I, I forgot to eat my lunch. So, probably I'll just wash my dirty clothes to release my anger. And, and I guess that's all for now. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have a story like mine, who, you know, who got failed with, you know, the exam for a driver's license. So, I um, mean, you know, comment down below. Ooh. Let's cherish each other. Um, and, you know, don't forget to subscribe and like. And probably some other time I'll be doing some challenges. I hope I can do it. So, thank you so much, guys. And buyers. Boom. Panes.